Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Excuse my appearance, but I figured I'd make you a quick video of this 2017 Truxton R I picked up. I found this bike actually on eBay from a bike shop over in New Hampshire somewhere. Um, picked up the bike for a pretty good price, 2017. It was all original stock. So, I mean, I had the big plate kit that came down here, which was down here. I, that was the first thing I did. I eliminated that, got the plate eliminator kit. Um, I had to take off the whole seat, the shroud right here, D you know, disconnect the old stuff and put this in. Pretty cool, I'm gonna show you guys. It has the left and right uh, signal lights in here, the brake light in here, also has an LED for the license plate. Um, I also picked up these rear pegs right here on eBay. These were like $30 aftermarket ones, um, but I made sure that it had a long screw in here so that I'm able to remove the old ones and then screw the peg in this way so that I can have those. I ordered a rear seat for this, um, which I don't have the bike right now, but I picked that up in London. Uh, ordered it from the UK, I got it shipped here to the States. Uh, that was about $350, $385 or something like that. Um, those are what I did here in the back. Then on the front, I went, over, went ahead and, and replaced the clip-ons. Um, I just wanted black clip-ons, better clip-ons, kind of like what I put on my street bikes. So I, I got those installed. I picked those up on eBay. I think I paid maybe like $50, $75 for those. Uh, I got LED signal light strips. I picked those up on Amazon. Those are anywhere between $10 to $15. Uh, so I removed those big bulky ones that were on there. And also, uh, that's about it. So I got the LED strips, the clip-ons, the plate eliminator kit, the rear pegs, and the rear seat, which I have put away right now. But I'll pull that out and show it to you. It's not a very attractive seat. It, it, it is for this bike. It's flat, but it's for two passengers. Um, so if I go out for a ride with my wife on the weekend, then I'll, I'll have that. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the bike on. I'm going to really turn it on. I'm just going to show you what the signal lights look like um in case you guys decide that you want to do this mod too i think it's a pretty cool mod as, as you can see the bike it, it eliminates that big bulkiness if you have a truck scenario that comes down here just now i get that sleek cafe racer look you know the, the trucks and are difference between the trucks and the trucks and are that we got brumble brakes on this only rear springs uh pretty much like a like a, a sport bike front end a jigsaw front end with a with a upside down forks brumble brakes on on uh, both sides, just like a sport bike, this is a 1200cc trucks and R. Let me go ahead and uh, turn on the turn on the the hazard lights. There, you can see them blinking in the front. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and show you the back. You can see it's pretty bright. I mean, if you were you were riding this now, if you decide to do this mod. Um, and you replace those uh, the, the front signal lights and this, you're gonna notice that your brake light starts blinking really quick. Uh, what you do is you turn the key off and you press, the, you press this mode button here. You just hold on to that. And you'll get a different screen and then you gotta change the settings. But there's a YouTube video for that. I don't remember off the top of my head. If not, I will go ahead and, and post that. But there's a YouTube to slow down the lights. There's three different settings depending on what lights you get. And I just went to the next setting up tested that the next setting up tested that just to make sure that my lights were blinking slow so there is a setting for that you just i think you turn the key hold this button and it brings you into that mode um i could try it real quick so let's take a look here and see i'm gonna press and hold the i button over here i'm gonna hold that press the key in if i recall yeah there it is so you see i have it on type four that's where I have it on. So I put mine on type four so that I could get this setup to work. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna shut the key off and then that should reset that. And I'm back to where I got about 5,000 miles on the bike right now. I could do a cold start for you guys with the stock exhaust. And we'll take a look and see, you know, what a cold start sounds like for you boys. For the boys. I got no sauce on this, I got stock exhaust on here, but I like the way it sounds, so that's why I'm keeping it. Go ahead and 
to shut that off because I'm in my garage and I don't want to smoke up the garage. But if you guys are planning on getting the trucks, then our guys, uh, you know, these, these are the mods that are there. I kept it very simple and clean. I didn't want to change my exhaust. I'm not out to try to make that much noise. There's other guys out there that change them. That's totally up to you. But I just want to do the rear pegs, the rear seat, which was really hard to find. The plate eliminator kit is a must. Like, that's something that you got to do super easy to do. It doesn't come with instructions, but um, you just pretty much take off the whole back seat, take, take up all the screws, disconnect everything, and then put the other part together and get that slapped in. Uh, the the clip-ons, a lot comfortable by replacing those and definitely removing the bulkiness out of the front, those big, nasty uh, signal lights that are on there. Remove that. Just to kind of give it a cleaner look. Um, but if you guys are Truxton fans or sport bikes guys, I mean, these, these bikes are awesome. You know, 1200cc, they ride exactly like sport bikes. Uh, you know, you can lean them, everything. They're just sick bikes. You know, I could stay up with the boys on Jixxas 600s and 750s and 1000s, you know, Honda CBRs, whatever. So good bike. And if you guys got one, hope you enjoy my mods. Uh, give me a thumbs up and just uh, subscribe to the channel. I'm always posting stuff about bikes. So I'm posting stuff about cars um you know sti golf r's pickup trucks and more stuff to come i just you know whatever i run into that i'm doing with cars i'm usually always posting that all on bikes thanks for watching and have a good one